Hence, if the elasticity is abnormal and if it is so loose or if the person is physically weak or mentally imbalanced, the talents cannot evince its nature. Manifestation of talents is only possibly productive by means of the cooperative or federal effort of all precise tools for the function. Likewise, there are four things which I want to say. First is blood supply. If there is no proper blood supply to the neurons, neurons they imbibe more subtle blood energy than other parts of the body. As they are having parabiological functions, they get into more blood. So if blood is not supplied, there are two things. If something is not supplied, it can do something insufficiently. But here regarding the neurons, if blood is not supplied properly, it will not be insufficient, it will be totally inactive. So Shirasasana and also taking lot of exercises which are concerned with Kapala and also subsidization of Kapala Ushna by Shirasnana what we call and also exercises of Medha in which by the, the skull or the Brahmarandra is more concentrated in our traditional mystic exercises is based on more blood infusion. It is not dangerous infusion of more blood. It is a reasonable, comparatively more infusion of blood which will make neurons more alive. That is very much essential. Second thing is dendrite. Certainly somebody in the neurobiology, they must have heard about dendrite. What is dendrite? Dendrite is a typically projected branch of the same neurons. And it understands where energy is required and how much this energy is required. So whenever there is a deficiency in the body, what is known as challenge, what is it known as? Cognitive challenge. I am asking you your name. I am asking you your name. You can immediately say without fail. So because that is that is in the superficial or the superficial status of your body. That is your knowledge body. It will be in the superficial status. If I am asking a difficult question in life, law of conservation of momentum, immediately you have, it is a challenge before you. So asking something for which you have to concentrate and asking for instantaneous production, asking for logical explanation, asking for deepening the same root, asking for producing the same thing in a different language, asking for producing something in a debate, these are all the various types of challenges. Dialectic challenge, debate challenge, deep challenge, instantaneous challenge, multifaceted challenge, there are five types of challenges to cognitive drill. So whenever I am asking you, then immediately you require more things. It is possible only by dendrites. Dendrites are the branch projections of the same neurons which supply you more power by means of which you can enhance your status of cognitive level by which you can answer those things. It is also biological, dendrite. The third thing is you must have heard of nerve growth factor. It is very essential, nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor that supplies you wherever you are having a particle deficiency that supplies you with additional energy by means of which it, the deficiency of your brain function can be removed easily. Then fourth thing, regeneration of brain cells or neurons. New cells are formed in the brains and uh, there must be a continuity. For example, you know that cells are born and they die <coughs> and <coughs> qualitative cells must be there. Quantitatively sufficient cells must be there in the brain and if there is any quantitative or qualitative loss, then there will be lack of continuity. So whatever you have done before, you cannot easily bring into practical usage. So order of performance and order or coherent order of thinking and analysis will not be there. So if I am talking here about a subject like a Tailadhara, huh? like uh, the fall of uh, the incessant shower of oil in which you cannot see the gap, in which the speedy rotation of this fan it will make the blades invisible like that the speedy that is the accelerated presence of order in us without a gap is the work of the cognitive biological skill. It is possible only by blood supply by means of getting more dendrites and also by getting lot of new generations of cells. And fourth thing is by the nerve control factor or nerve growth factor. So these four things are very essential and what is the problem why I am stating these things? See, if your person is studying something more or something deep, I have given five challenges. If somebody is taking a challenging task, certainly they require, they demand more energy. For example, somebody asked me that they are very much having lot of troubles in the office. 
lot of tension in the office. I asked the designation. They told that they are some managing director or general manager. Then I told you become a pun, you will be having lesser pay and lesser tension. <laughs> so if the people who are studying about the information processing, information processing is not easy. These IT, NT, BT are cognitive challenges. Why I am telling this is, these three systems of education, they are cognitive challenges before you. Because studying about the fundamentals, biotechnology is not easy. To understand even normal physiology and anatomy, you have to suffer. To understand chromosomal behavior, intergenal behavior, genealogy, genome mapping, intergenial analysis, all of these things require a lot of subtle studies. Information processing is a very great challenge before us. And nanotechnology is the greatest challenge. So understanding about subtlety of matter, understanding about subtlety of life, understanding about subtlety of efficacy, these things are greater challenges. Certainly if your person is not having CT balance, he will not have NT, IT and BT balance at all. Because it is a cognitive load, it is, it is a cognitive challenge. So this blood as well as novel growth factor, as well as more cells if they are produced, the cells are having two great qualities according to our Shastras, they say Sandhi and Sangraha. They produce new cells. It is a very great, wonderful behavior of the brain. Whenever cells are going to fade or die, immediately the hippocampus of the brain that produces stem cells. Just as we said, if somebody is lacking for work, somebody is lifting this, then immediately one or two people, they may be lifting it. If it is found to be so Herculean, then somebody watching from there, they will send three or four more people so that it can be easily lifted. It is just a casual social response and behavior which we are seeing. Likewise, if we are trying to do something more than that, the hippocampus of our brain, they secrete stem cells. The stem cells immediately, they go and communicate with the already existing struggling cells. That communication is known as sandhi. Then immediately, within a fraction of a nanosecond, it imbibes all the information. It imbibes all the information. There is no interface at all. It is interface of similarity. It is interface of common governance. There are two interfaces. What is similarity? It is the same neuron which has been emanated from the hippocampus which is very identical to towards the structure and function of the other one. That is similarity interface. Both of them are secreted by a common governance force. By this thing, if it touches, just by a touch theory, immediately it imbibes all the information 